Hello guys and welcome to this video on potential energy. Uh, we are going to do an extra practice problem on potential energy and uh, let's first begin by reading the problem. The problem reads, a 10 kilogram mass hangs from a spring and is released from the ceiling which is 10 meters high. The spring stretches from 0 0.5 meters to 2 meters. The spring cost is 5 newton per meter. What is the total potential energy? All right. So on um, in this slide already, you kind of see a little crude drawing made by myself. Um, uh, at the bottom, I have the ground label, and at the top, I have the ceiling, and then I have these crude drawings of the spring with a, a mass hanging on it. So um, there are in this problem, there are two types of potential energy going on here. Right, uh, one there's a uh, because it, it is hanging from some height, uh, there is potential energy due to gravity. Right? And let's start off with that first. Uh, potential energy gravity is defined by G for abbreviated for gravitational, is defined by mass times gravity times height. Okay. All right. And just to be clear, and actually we should actually do this first. Um, some things that are given to us. Um, the mass in this problem is 10 kilograms. And spring constant is 5 newton per meter. Okay. okay, those are the immediate things that are given to us. Um, now, let me rewrite this at the bottom underneath there. Because we're dealing with potential energy gravity, okay, we have the mass. We know what gravity is. And since we're talking about energy here, um, we want uh, gravity to be um, a positive value here. Okay. But let's, let's, let's figure out the height. All right, we have a problem with height here. Well, if it's hanging... If the spring is stretched to two meters, okay, this is it right here, two meters. Now the height is not ten meters, okay. That is the height of the ceiling. We actually want to address the actual height of the, between the mass to the ground. So we want to address this part here, and I apologize that this is not drawn to scale. We want to address that height right there, because if the spring drops down two meters or from 0.5 meters to two meters from the ceiling, okay, and the ceiling, oops, um, the ceiling is um, 10 meters tall. Well, how far is the actual mass now from the ground? Well, we take the difference between how high the ceiling is and how far it actually stretched, and we find out this thing is only. 8 meters tall. Okay. Once you establish that, then we can go proceed to calculate what potential energy gravity is, okay? By um, taking the mass, which is 10 kg times 9.8 meters per second squared. Um and times it by eight meters. Okay. Let me take a moment and do that in our calculator. Let's solve for the potential energy due to gravity here. So we do ten times nine point eight times eight. And we're gonna find out that the potential energy due to gravity is seven hundred eighty four. Uh, joules. Okay. The second type of gravity involved in this problem is due to the spring. All right. So it's that would be called um, potential energy elastic. Okay, and you're allowed to read this if you want. All right, and this is defined by one half times the spring constant times x squared. 
Now, if you remember, x is defined by taking the new length uh, minus the natural length of the spring or rubber band or or um, bungee cord, whatever the problem it presents. Okay, and up here we already have a picture of what it was. Well, when it was stretched, it was two meters. Right before it was stretched, it was zero point five. Okay, so x, how much it's stretched by, is going to be two meters, which is what it's stretched to, minus zero point five meters. Okay, and by doing this, you're going to find out that the um, x is going to be 1.5 meters. Once that is established, let me raise this reference right here. Um, once that is established, we can go ahead and calculate the tension energy due to the elastic. Okay, and it's going to PE, the elastic, equals 1 half. A5. I'm actually going to leave out units just because I'm running out of room here. 1.5 squared. Okay. All right. And once we do this, P elastic equals, well, let's do it right now, 0 0.5 times 5 times 1.5 squared. Okay, not a big number, you know, especially if the spring constant is pretty weak. 5.625 joules. Okay. Now we are not done. One last step. The problem asked us to find the total potential energy here. Okay. And all we have to do is, well, we have two types of potential energy going on. We have one due to gravity, right here, and we have one due to the elastic nature of the spring. Okay. And what are we going to do? What are we going to do to solve for the total? Uh, I'm going to have to write it down here. To find the total P total abbreviate T O T is all you have to do is take the Potential energy due to gravity, 784 joules. And add it to the elastic potential energy, which is 5.625 joules. Okay, and that's just finding the total. Okay, and this is not necessarily a formula. I mean, it is. You guys kind of understand what total means. Okay. <clears throat> and we are just going to add these two values to 784 plus 5.625. And we're going to get 789.625 joules. Okay, and that right there um, is going to be our final answer, which is solving for the total potential energy. Okay, I hope this uh, this extra practice problem has been helpful and supportive to you guys. Feel free to replay it again if you uh, misunderstood anything or uh, need to actually need to clarify any any concepts. And I hope this is helpful to you guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, another time. Thank you.